And we continue our conversation by welcoming Wakas Azim and Kaiser Khan to our Newsmakers Sunday program. And once again, News Director Kevin Osgood joining us uh, to take part in our conversation this morning. Uh, Wakas, let's start with you. What have you learned here while you were in the United States? Oh, yes, it's a really wonderful experience uh, coming here to Wisconsin and especially in the United States of Pakistan. It's almost uh, uh, about 10 uh, to 8 years that I was applying to come to the United States, but the dream came true. That this long year. ago you applied? Yeah. Okay. I, I applied in, in 2011 but could not work it. But uh, in this year, uh, I got an opportunity to come and visit here in the United States of Pakistan, and especially I have been attached here in Wisconsin. Before coming to Wisconsin, I was uh, searching and Googling what this Wisconsin state is this. And uh, in the, uh, the uh, pre-orientation session, we were told that Wisconsin is a very beautiful state, and it's known as G's and lakes are very famous about the Wisconsin, and it's a wonderful experience uh, by spending three weeks here. Uh, we have learned a lot here, especially working with the WFRV Local 5 News Organization. Its staff is very cooperative. They helped, at, and they helped us as, at uh, every moment and teached us how they are working differently with the Pakistani news organizations, and especially the editing system we we have learned here and the and the crew is very very helpful because they are working independently one man show is 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 uh, as a unique thing in united states of pakistan that uh, does not work in pakistan because we work in as a team we have a crew we have a cameraman we have a dsng staff but here only one man is working for all this stuff and Kaiser, what did you take away from this? What was your experience? Uh, first of all, I'm very thankful to the WFRV uh, management, Tom, Kevin, and all of the staff here, uh, the, uh, our uh, fellow reporters, uh, for giving us this opportunity to learn from you people and now sharing our experiences with you, uh, with you people. Um, I believe like uh, uh, these days uh, it is uh, an era of social media, everyone have mobile and internet, they can access and they can interact with, uh, with the people from other cu culture, but I still believe uh, in experiencing the uh, culture uh, um, by, by person. Uh, so while here uh, we were in Washington DC, we were in, uh, here in Green Bay, Malaki, Chicago, um, and it was like I was very surprised. Like my thought was like the American will be very possessive, uh, possessive people. But here it was like wherever we go, there were like the people who were, uh, greeted us and they were so polite and uh, we were like wondering like. You didn't uh, expect that. Yeah, we were not <laughs> expecting that the people were be uh, so polite with us. And it's like, like all the time I feel like a home uh, in the United States. And I think it's a very, uh, great opportunity for me to uh, come here and experience all the things uh, here, the, both professionally and culturally. Kevin, I think they heard about the stories about the ugly American. <laughs> oh, yeah, no <laughs> doubt. Yeah. They got surprised at that. How important, Kevin, is it for journalists like us to learn the way that journalists like our Pakistani friends cover their news? Oh, I think, it, I think it's critical. Um, just, it's not just the, the staffing that's, that's different. But the similarities, when, because it's the, it's again those preconceived notions of, mm -hmm. of, you know, what we think they're they're covering there is no different than what we're covering here. I've I've watched us the one of the we can see your news Geo TV no uh, 24, 24 news. news 24 news has a live feed that, that that works on the browsers here and we can watch it and not only is it I mean it's just as aggressive political coverage you know and so many voices and and just what. And, and it's so important. The same as here. It's just um, telling and, and getting to the bottom of facts, information, and telling quality stories. Um, you pitched a story while you were here about a tree. Yeah. Uh, you were out with uh, Chris Schuler on a totally different story and started talking with someone yeah. about a tree that was very important to her that had to get cut down because it had died. But I think her grandfather had, yeah. had planted father, it. Her father. Her and father. her father planted it. And it, that's what it all, it's stories about people and, and how life impacts them every day that that viewers can identify with that um, actually that I, we have to tell actually I was trying to show how the plants and trees are important for the people of Wisconsin because in Pakistan 
a lot of climate change are going on and the weather is changing very abruptly and people are not aware of the importance of the trees that's why i was when i was here i was trying to show the importance of the tree and plants and the forest that are very crucial for for the uh, environment as well and we have technical issues here it was a great story what cost put together and it, it it's we're waiting to show it in this show but in the process, we have a, a system on our server that if something's older than 48 hours, it goes away. You don't see it. So the right. story didn't make it. Um, it, has, it has gone away, sadly, because it was a good story. Well, because when you cover stories in, in Pakistan, it is more of a challenge than what we face here. Sometimes it is downright dangerous for you to cover the stories that you do. Uh, describe what you go through when you're covering issues in Pakistan. Where are the, where are the dangers? Yeah, Pakistan, I think, is considered one of the most dangerous countries while covering the um, while uh, covering media and the f f f press of the freedom of the press, and especially these days, uh, this is the hot topic in Pakistan because the general ele elections are going on and. Uh, uh, Pakistan Federal Union of Journalists and All Pakistan Newspaper Society and the Pakistan Broadcast as, uh, Association are protesting that uh, they, they are not giving the, uh, uh, the right to express their, their opinion. Uh, in fact, I, I was watching a recent interview of our uh, national uh, newspaper, Dawn newspaper, and uh, they are also protesting that uh, uh, freedom of press must be ensured in Pakistan and uh, uh, general societies are also protesting because they think they actually don't know who is suppressing the media in Pakistan. Political, po political parties are blaming on the military and the military side is uh, blaming on the political parties but n uh, nobody has proof who is uh, going to cover this all, all these issues and uh, on the other, other hand politicians think that uh, uh, without uh, without freedom of press, there would be no strong democracy in Pakistan. If we think there is, uh, there should be a democracy in Pakistan, there must be freedom of press that should must be ensured, and that's why the uh, major political Pakistan uh, People's Party chairman has also uh, uh, said this that uh, there should be no censorship on the media because we wa we don't want a controlled democracy and. Uh, controlled media. That, uh, that is uh, the debate going on in Pakistan. While we, c we cover the issues in Pakistan, we face the same challenges as in U.S. Because uh, uh, while a reporter, reporter is covering the story, he might be pressurized some, uh, from some different groups, like uh, government is controlling and the political opponents are controlling and the militants are controlling and the, also because there is a corporate corporatization in Pakistan. So there are, th these are some of the challenges that the reporters are facing in Pakistan. We are back with our journalist roundtable on Newsmaker Sunday right after this. Stay with us.